think my one life goal right now is to not poke myself in the eyeball with this. All right, so today I'm gonna to be attempting to do a full face of makeup with my bad hand, my opposite hand. So I am right-handed. I'm gonna be doing all of my makeup with my left hand, which currently is band-aided. RCL Beauty 101 originally did this video about four years ago, and then it just kind of recently caught on in the YouTube world and made its rounds. I'm gonna link her original video down below, but I am very curious to see how this is gonna go. Not only am I not ambidextrous, but I actually feel like I'm unambidextrous. Anti-ambidextrous, is there a word for this? Let's see. There is a word. The opposite of ambidextrous is ambisinister. You're equally shitty with both hands. So that is me. If someone goes to hand me something with my left hand, I literally have to reach and grab it with my right hand or else it'll fall on the floor. So this is gonna be great. I filmed a different video this morning. I'm trying to pre-record a lot since I'm gonna be gone for 10 days. So I just wiped off all the makeup, washed my face. Let's go in with primer. Some of this stuff is gonna be like first impressions too, stuff that I haven't tried out yet. This is the Revlon Brightening Primer. I used the Blurring Primer in a recent video. Do I have to like, no, I gotta pump it with my good hand. Okay. I feel like I need to like tie back this hand or something. Oh, this smells really strong, like chemicals. I feel like I'm pressing extra hard right now. Brush or makeup sponge gonna be easier. I almost feel like a makeup sponge will be. For foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover. This is like the only foundation I have right now that's dark enough for this tanner. I'm gonna use my Morphe sponge and pounce this thing in. Oh God, even putting this on the palette feels weird. I hope this is gonna be dark enough. Oh yeah, I think this will work. Oh, this motion doesn't actually feel that weird. Oh. <laughs> When you actually have to put it somewhere it does, like going around my nose and stuff. Look at that coverage, it literally covers everything. A full review on that foundation from 15 Days of Foundation. By the way, I'm gonna be announcing the next 15 Days of Foundation dates soon in an upcoming, probably in a shadow and schmooze or something. Oh, this side is harder. This looks weird. This literally looks like it's someone else's hand right now. Does it not? What the heck? I think also because my hand is like wider than my body right now. This is so bizarre. Okay, I need to focus. This side is way harder for some reason. Cause I'm going to like cross. Woo, this arm's getting sore. I'm just kind of covering my eyebrow because why not? Took me about 10 times longer than usual, but we got there. So for concealer, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the shade Light. Oh, oh, this is different. I'm gonna try and pounce instead of, there we go. Woo, that almost just slid into my eyeball. Well, I feel like I'm doing those paints. Did you guys ever have those when you were a kid? Like the things that you push down and they're the dots. Use the pointy side. This could be a hazard. Everything is taking a lot of thought. Like literally having to think where to put my hand right now. If I don't poke myself in the eyeball at some point during this video, that's going to be a success. All right. Concealer's on. So to set my under eyes, I'm going to mix my usual translucent correcting powder by Physicians Formula with the darker shade of their powder. This is the Mineral Face Powder in Translucent Light. This one is too dark for my under eyes right now. This one is too light, so I'm just gonna mix the two. I feel like I just, yeah, I just already creased. Oh, what am I doing? Wrong hand, okay. That felt way too normal for a second. Oh, holding brushes is fun. I feel like I should close my eyes for this. Can't even attempt to have a cute face while doing this right now. Yeah, this left side of my face is definitely easier. I don't need to powder my face with this foundation. It's very matte and dries down like it sets. So for bronzer, I'm gonna try out the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzing Contour Palette. This is in the shade Saint Lucia. I can't remember if this is a new shade or if I've used this one before. I think it is a new shade. You have like a peachy blush and then this contour bronzer shade. So I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild brush. Let's do some contouring. I don't remember how pigmented this is. Ooh, that shade is nice. I feel like every bronzer looks so much better when you have a tan on. They just look so much less orange always. I think tapping is the hardest part though. Wait, do I turn my brush usually? Yeah. Oh man, this angle. Okay. I'm just taking my sweet time over here blending. I am gonna do a little nose contour action, which I've been into lately. I'm gonna take this Kat Von D brush. I do not like this for concealer. I bought a couple Kat Von D brushes to try out and this one I like semi-like, but I don't really think it's worth the money. I'm just kind of using it as a nose contour since I didn't like it for concealer. I'm gonna use that same e.l.f. product. All I've been doing is going underneath here. I haven't been doing the sides, just right under here. Ooh, I gotta blend that out. It's like I got chocolate on my nose. 
I can hear my nose like cracking when I do this. Is that normal? Then I'm gonna do a little under the lip contour. Just makes your bottom lip look bigger. I feel like the face is the easy part. The eyes are gonna be a different story. Eyebrows I don't even wanna think about. I'm gonna try out this same blush in this palette. Oh, that's pretty. Looks really natural. This is really natural looking. Like you have to layer it on if you want it to show up. On my fair skin, this will probably look really nice. I wanna try out this Pixie and Miriam Strobe and Bronze Glow Palette. So there's a really pretty kind of pink shade right here. This one almost looks like Champagne Pop. I think I'm gonna take this one right now. Dipping in. Where are, you, where are you at? It's like a natural kind of glow. Oh. <laughs> well, we're having a little under eye highlight here. I feel like I'm just doing everything in slow motion. Do the cupid's bow, nose, eat a little bit. I think we've made it to the point where I have to grow some balls and do some brows right now. I'm gonna use my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and let's spoolie these things. Oh Jesus. Oh, that's a good strategy. Just move your face instead of the brush. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow my brow, that's it. We got this. I don't think I'm gonna add any extra shape. I'm just like literally following my brows and filling them in a little bit. I feel like I'm going the wrong way for some reason. Not as bad as I thought so far. I don't wanna jinx myself. I really like the strategy of just moving your face. Whew. Oh God, how do I even hold on this side? Oh shit. Ooh, that one went out a little far. All right, that one's having some issues, a little bumpy. I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead on this one. To prime the eyes, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Aqua XL in M52. Slide this on. These things are awesome. I mentioned these in June Raisin Rejects. I think I just got primer all up in that eyelash. I think we're on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna throw it back and try out the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I haven't used this in so long. I don't even remember the last time, probably two years ago. Mine doesn't open all the way. Don't know what happened there. First, I think I'm gonna take the white chocolate shade in here just to like set that kind of and take it on my finger, pat that in. These eyeshadows usually blend really easily, so I'm hoping they're gonna help sister out. I'm going with the shade Salted Caramel. Do you guys say caramel or caramel? I used to say caramel and then I made the transition. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this into the crease. Ooh, no big deal. Just windshield wiper motions, that's all I'm doing. I'm gripping everything so tight that my body's like cramping. Ooh, let's get some circles going. Stepping it up. I'm gonna take the shade Creme Brulee, deep kind of gold color right here. Ooh, it's like an antique bronze kind of color that just did not come off on my lid at all. Is anything coming off? There we go. Just needed to warm up a little bit. I think this shade is just shitty. It's like not really showing up at all. That Too Faced shade isn't doing it for me. So let's use this one. Now I'm gonna deepen up the crease a little bit and go in with the shade Semi Sweet, which is this brown, oh, you can't see shit. This brown shade right here. Slow and steady wins the race, you know what I'm saying? How in the heck are we gonna do liquid liner? Do most people do liquid liner in these videos? I don't even know. I feel like it wouldn't be a full challenge if you didn't try it. Going back in with the blending brush. I'm gonna take Marzipan for an inner corner highlight. I think this shade will work on there. Kind of like a peachy color. Actually, I'm gonna mix that too with Champagne Truffle, which is a really light pink shimmery shade. There we go. I'm gonna go back in with Salted Caramel, the first shade. See, now I'm saying caramel. Okay, time for liquid liner. I've been really into the Cap on D tattoo liner lately. Still love my Physician's Formula Ultra Black. Don't get me wrong, but this one is a close second. This is gonna be something else. I'm gonna get this mirror as close as possible to my face. I don't even know where to start with this. Definitely gonna table it. I have my elbow on the table right now. I think my one life goal right now is to not poke myself in the eyeball with this. So far, so good. The wing is what I'm worried about. I'm just gonna kind of hope for the best here. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, okay. Debating whether I should try and make that line a little bit thinner on the end and bring it out more or just go with a thick wing. Oh, that was a bad idea. Wow, that went really well. Let's see how this one goes. Oh God, Anna's the other way. Well, this is an angle I've never done liner at. 
Okay, my body actually doesn't move this much. Okay, at least I got a finer point on that one. Now let's connect him. That one went better. I'm gonna use my Catrice Glamadol Mascara. I usually use this on top of Too Faced Better Than Sex, but that one is packed. I think I'm just gonna blink, like keep blinking. So I don't actually have to move the wand a lot. Give it a little wiggle. Something is stuck together. That entire wand almost just landed right on my cheek. Ooh, whoa, that was really close to my eyeball. This is almost scarier than the top, I think. Yeah, holy shit sees. My hand is shaking right now. I'm gonna use this CoverGirl melting pot in 125 because I want to see how these are. Can't tell if a squeeze tube would be easier or harder than a liquid lipstick right now. I might get a different red liquid lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to use <gasps> Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in 35. What does that say? Rebel Red? No idea what that says. Oh, I'm gonna look really patriotic right now. Ugh. They smell horrible. So usually my strategy with liquid lipstick is to do like one line. I don't pick up my wand at all. I just do one line. So I'm gonna try that. Here I go. Hey, that wasn't bad. I do this last. I like to let the rest of it dry so I can push over the ring. And then for my top, I do usually go in, in, and then down in one line. This is already on my teeth. Other than looking like I'm ready for the 4th of July right now, I think that went much better than anticipated. Eyeliner was definitely where we went downhill a little bit and this eyebrow, wow, this thing is like a freaking cone. This one at least has like a point to it. I would recommend only trying this out if you have like two hours because I think I did everything 25 times slower than normal. I don't know, here it is. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you've tried this on yourself just for shits and giggles, let me know how it went. All of the products that I used in case you wanna recreate this fabulous look are linked down below in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.